Hello and in this video, I am going to discuss the basic concept of a variable and we are going to take the help of matchstick patterns to arrive at that concept. So now let us play a small game. We have a box full of matchsticks and we will just form different patterns. So we start with a very simple pattern that of a forming L. Okay, and so what I do is first I form an L shape and I, I am interested in knowing how many matchsticks do I need when I keep on increasing the number of L's. So when I form one L shape, I need two matchsticks. Then when I form two L shapes, so I already have two from the first one and then we need two more matchsticks to be added. So we need four matchsticks. Then when we make three L's, so this is second and this one is the third L, we need six matchsticks as you can count here. And this pattern could go on. If I make four L's, then I will use eight matchsticks. Now what can we do is, we will tabulate this observation as is shown here. So the first row consists of the number of L's that are formed and the second row just simply states how many matchsticks are required for the number of L's formed. So that is which, which simply says that when the num I just form one L I need two matchsticks. When I form two L's I need four matchsticks and so on. So when I am using eight L's or I want to form eight L's I need 16 matchsticks. Now, do we see any relation or any pattern between the number of matchsticks that are required for a given number of L's? And I think the relation here you can see is straight away that the number of matchsticks required are twice the number of L's that you want to form. So let me just write that down here. So number of number of matchsticks required is nothing but it is equal to twice the number of L formed. Now what is this that we have done here? We have just written a rule. We have said that if I know the number of L's then it becomes very easy for me to find out the number of matchsticks. It is nothing but simply 2 multiplied by the number of L's. Or I can just say 2 multiplied by number of L's formed. That is what I say. Now, so this is one way of representing the rule. Now let us try to make things a bit simpler for us. So here we have written number of matchsticks that is this and then we have twice the number of L's or, or we have number of L's so that is this. So let us let, let us do one thing because if I want to write a rule I will try to make my life simpler and instead of writing this number of L's let me just use a letter let's say N the small n. What this n means is it represents me the number of L's. That is what. And similarly for this matchsticks, I'll just take up this m to remind us of the number of matchsticks required. So what I have done is I am simply saying that m to me means number of matchsticks required and n means the number of L's formed. Now can we do one thing? Can we just substitute this long phrase here with our new convenient letter or convenient notation that is use of M. So I will say that M which stands for number of matchsticks okay, is equal to twice into number of L's but I know that I am using the letter N to represent the number of L's. So I am saying 2 into N. Okay. So do you see what we have done here? We first had a look at we tabulated the L patterns then we said that we, we observed if is there is any rule that we can see and we found out that 
if we know the number of L's, we can straight away find out how many matchsticks are required by multiplying the number of L's into 2. And then we said that, okay, now instead of using these phrases, let us just try to use letters to represent these numbers, the number of L's and the number of matchsticks. And then we came up with this rule. This rule simply says that the number of matchsticks required is simply equal to twice into the number of L's that are to be formed. Now, this N and M here, they are nothing but the variables. That is what we mean by a variable. Now, because we have done this, just try to ponder over what are the properties of these variables. First of all, this M and N, what do they represent? Of course, we have used letter, but this M and N, they represent numbers. Okay, they just represent numbers. Okay, second thing about them is that when I use these letters to represent numbers, it means that there is no fixed value. N can take on any value. That is N because it says number of L's. So I can say that I want to uh, make 6 number of L's. So in that case, N becomes 6. And when N becomes 6, M will become 12. So the other important property of variable is that they do not take any fixed value. They can have different values. On the other hand, here 2. It's not a variable. It's a fixed number. 2 means 2. There is no ambiguity as to 2 means something else. But n, n could vary. So these are the two basic properties of the variables. Now in the next video, we will just formally discuss about variables. So in this video, you got an idea of what variables are and the basic property of a variable.